Hi, uh, my name is Jenny, um, and I'm here to share my story as an engineer working at Goldman Sachs. So I joined Goldman in 2010 as an interest rate product strategist. What does that mean? We model probability distribution of interest rate products um, and come up with the best strategy for our clients to, match their, to manage their risks to interest rates. For five years, uh, I worked on models, stochastic calculated differential equations, which fed into transactions, billion dollar transactions with governments, corporates, pension funds, insurance companies, you name it. And one day last year, one busy afternoon, everything was pretty hectic and markets were moving wildly in all directions. Um, I was pulled into this last minute meeting of short demo of like 10 minutes. You know, I was in my zone on the trading floor, focusing on my stochastic differential equations. You know, it was like my baby, an ill-behaved baby. It was trying to make him move in that direction, but it was like spotting, a, giving a graph and that looks like nothing. Anyways, I was in my zone, right? And it was, got pulled into this meeting, this, this demo. I was like, let me just get it over with. So I stepped into this short demo, and little did I know that this short 10-minute demo completely changed the directory, the trajectory of my entire career and my outlook on the financial industry. I saw a bot. A bot, everybody familiar with a bot? I mean, I, think you, I feel like you would be more familiar with the term bot than I am. Um, so basically a, a virtual robot that understands you, understands you know, financial inquiries such as you know, so what's the, what's the price of a, you know, at the money call option on an Apple stock? You know, call option is one type of option, financial product we trade. So basically, a, a bot that understands the financial key important technical, important details within an uh, uh, unstructured text message. By understanding, I really mean parsing these, recognizing these important numerical details and parse it into a financial product. So. That was only a prototype, but that was beautiful. You can't imagine the number of things that we do manually these days and that can be just automated away. Um, you can't imagine the, the huge data files that we have somewhere sitting that we don't simply don't have the manual, like the man for us to go through them. So that was my next project, to bring it to production, not only to automate away the daily tasks that we do, but also to tap into a huge pool of unused, unaccessible data like, that has never been used by computers before. We're going to tap into this, this limitless, like there's a widely cited figure that 80% of the information out there is unstructured. So we're gonna tap into this, this huge data pool that simply hasn't been you know, recognized before. So um, what problem is that? It's, Similar to like a natural language processing problem, right? Given a text, right? We are trying to figure out what information is, is available out there. Say, suppose maybe the term um, call option or these financial products doesn't make too much sense, but suppose you are a college student, right? You are moving into, say, New York City for your next internship, and you are looking for an apartment. Uh, what you care about this financial contract with the landlord, you care about the rent, right? The day that you're moving into, the day you're moving out, and what if you cancel right, your rent, how much of penalty you're gonna pay, right? So these are all important details in the contract that you're signing with your landlord. And what do you care? Uh, like, what are the things you care in a lengthy legal document with your landlord, right? There are four details. The start date of your stay, the end date of your stay, the rent, or potentially a, a, penal, a penal, penalty fee if you cancel it, right? Out of all this mumbo jumbo that people talk about, there are only four important details you need to know and to make it a valid financial contract. So that's the problem we are interested in. However, this is not exactly natural language because, you know, People in finance don't really respect grammar. They don't, you know, say, oh, hey, can you please quote me the price of the rent from July 21st, 2015 to July 1st, 2016, you know, if I were to, uh, and what if you need to pay a penalty fee? When you deal with brokers, and brokers need to deal with like hundreds of people like on endless basis quoting like hundreds of quotes every day, what people do really is like, 
Okay, July 16, 2016 to July 16, 2017, uh, uh, for you know, 10, 1500 uh, a month, uh, penalty fee of uh, $100. And sometimes you can change the order that say things, right? Instead of saying this first, they say, oh, penalty fee this, and this is a date of stay, this is a date of the, of the, of the, of the end of the, the rent. So basically, you have this, people talk about these things in a very unstructured form, and there are many ways of saying that. There's, there's no logic within them, right? There's no like if or else, because or so. So you need to make sense of these things out of, out of some, out of your own financial sort of language model. So that's what I've been working on. That's what sort of we have, we have come up with. Um, we have, we're sitting, Goldman Sachs, in this epicenter of huge amount of data, right? We have been around for over 200 years, and we have, we're seeing transactions happening, like billion dollar transactions between, between different financial entities, uh, central banks, um, um, Governments, uh, corporates, pension funds, asset managers. And we are sitting on this huge pool of data. Why not? Why don't we make use of it? So we have a, uh, a currently a bot that's running in production right now. Uh, her name is Iris, uh, short for interest rate inquiry system. I really like the name. Uh, and I think the part that makes me the pr most proud is that I can claim their first bot ever that has been running in the production system in Goldman Sachs 200 years of history was female. And you can tell that, you know, remember to mention that to your male friends. Um, so that sort of was a little Microscopic, microscopic version of what has been happening in the financial industry at large, right? what has been happening to me. 20 years ago, mathematicians, physicists changed the way that people thought about finance. In 1997, Nobel Prize of Economics was given, was awarded to uh, Robert Merton, who was actually a Harvard professor, um, uh, Myron Scholes and the late uh, Fisher Black for their contribution in the developing a pioneering formula for asset valuations, which gave rise to a plethora of financial products and better risk management, uh, better risk management practices in this society. So, 20 years later, computer scientists are taking over the world, like you are taking over the world. Why? So, people start to ask a question. Why should we limit ourselves to innovation that only happening like within valuation, right? Why should we only care about the, the worth of the product or, or the model, the problem distribution? Why should the, the fruit of the past you know, 20 years of financial innovation should be stay within the four walls of Goldman Sachs? For 20 years, Goldman Sachs has been recognized leader in you know, financial modeling of complex products, complex distribution and which has made us a power trading house on Wall Street. But today, we're, we're disrupting ourselves. We are trying to ask the question, you know, what is the new paradigm? And, and did you know that we are actually building our own web-based platform to externalize our data, to share our huge source, huge pool of financial data, of analytics, of the tools and experience and expertise that has been accumulated over the past 20 years to share with the rest of the world. We're sharing with you, with clients, with investors, with students, with developers who want to access to that to build plenty of stuff on top. Actually, Ina is here. She's a developer on our web-based platform called Marquee, and I really strongly recommend you to speak to her uh, if you're interested. And Sumitra, who's also here, she's working on uh, coming up with trade recommendation of uh, trade recommendation for clients based on machine learning, which is traditionally, by the way, purely relying on the expertise, on a sophisticated expertise of like a seasoned professional. So imagine a world where when you need financial advice or you know risk management, we no longer instead of going to I don't know, a financial advisor in an office, in a corner office, or, come, or instead of grabbing, coming up, calling up someone or sending someone an email, you basically chat with a bot sitting on the platform. You ask you know, anything you want. You can be as simple as citing the financial product, right? What's the price of this, you know, of this interest rate swap? Or in your case, oh, what is the rent going to be, you know, like living in New York in one year for three months or whatever? 
Or in the bot can assess the risks of a financial portfolio for you, which says basically, um, you know, what's the risk of your portfolio to interest rate moving around, to stock markets moving around, to um, Chinese currency depreciating, to Britain leaving the European Union? All these questions that can be addressed based on knowledge and not by someone, you know, not traditionally, not by someone with, you know, years of experience. Basically, if you can train a bot, train an algorithm to see what a human can see, you can come up with better strategies, better recommendations. Better, probably better than a human. So that's what we are going. That's what we are aiming for. That's what we are up to. This is the new ecosystem. This is what we have in mind as the new ecosystem in which and which has been built today, which has been built today, um, is happening right now. As our chief um, information officer, Marty Chavez, said, you know, technology is no longer an enabler of our business. It is the business solution we're del delivering to our clients. And that architecture of the future, it has been designed today by the very ladies present at this conference sitting right here, standing right here. Um, the, the, the train is leaving the station, right, today. Um, this will be an amazing ride. Financial world is being disrupted and will be disrupted over the next five to 10 years. Phenomenal careers will be made. Maybe a one or two Nobel Prizes will be won. Um, jump on the train today with us and visit us at Goldman Sachs Lounge. Thank you.